In the heart of Victoria, British Columbia, the historic Ross Bay Cemetery stood shrouded in a dense mist as Halloween night descended. Four friends, Emily, Michael, Lauren, and Josh, decided to take a stroll through the eerie graveyard. They were thrill-seekers, drawn to the macabre allure of the resting place of centuries-old souls. The cemetery, with its weathered tombstones and ancient trees, seemed tranquil at first, despite its ominous reputation. The friends chuckled as they navigated the winding pathways, occasionally reading epitaphs that hinted at lives long past. The air was cold and clammy, and their breaths formed frosty clouds in front of them. As they ventured deeper into the graveyard, the atmosphere began to shift. The faint laughter of children echoed through the misty air, sending shivers down their spines. That's creepy, Emily said, gripping Michael's arm. Lauren, always fascinated by the paranormal, decided to pull out her digital voice recorder. Let's try to catch some EVPs, she suggested, referring to electronic voice phenomena. The group agreed, and they began to ask questions into the chilling darkness. Is there anyone here with us? Josh inquired. The recorder picked up a soft, whispering response that sent chills down their spines. It sounded like a distant child's voice, saying, play with us. Nervously, they continued their exploration. It wasn't long before they encountered a peculiar sight. An old tombstone stood in the middle of a clearing, with a broken lantern next to it. Josh reached down to pick up the lantern, his curiosity peaked. As he lifted the lantern, the light within flickered to life with an eerie, greenish glow. Shadows danced on the tombstone, forming grotesque shapes. The friends gasped and took a step back, dropping the lantern in fear. Suddenly, the ground beneath them trembled, and the mist around them thickened. Emily's voice quivered as she whispered, we should leave. Something doesn't feel right. They turned to make their escape, but the cemetery had transformed. The winding paths seemed to stretch infinitely, leading them in endless circles. Panic set in as they realized they were trapped in a sinister, otherworldly maze. The laughter of children grew louder, echoing in their ears. Shadows darted among the tombstones, and ghostly figures appeared, beckoning them to play. Panic turned to terror as the spectral children reached out with bony hands. We have to stick together. Michael shouted, trying to rally his friends. They clung to each other, moving as a tight-knit group through the nightmarish labyrinth. The malevolent spirits seemed to feed on their fear, growing stronger with each passing moment. Lauren's voice trembled as she recited a chant she had read about in her paranormal research. The words were supposed to banish malevolent spirits, but as she spoke, the ghosts only grew angrier. The children's laughter turned to eerie wails, and the shadows converged, blotting out the moon. In a desperate bid for escape, they stumbled upon an old mausoleum. They rushed inside, slamming the heavy stone door shut behind them. Inside, the air was heavy with the scent of decay, but it was a welcome refuge compared to the horrors outside. As they huddled together in the dimly lit chamber, the malevolent spirits circled the mausoleum, their ghastly faces pressed against the windows. The friends were trapped, and their screams echoed through the night. Morning eventually broke, and the mist lifted, revealing the cemetery in its usual state. The mausoleum stood empty, its secrets hidden once more. The friends were never seen again, and Ross Bay Cemetery continued to guard its sinister mysteries, waiting for the next unsuspecting visitors to cross its threshold. For centuries, Ross Bay Cemetery had been a place of solitude for the dearly departed. Yet, beneath the moss-covered stones and weathered epitaphs, a dark secret lay buried. It was said that a group of restless spirits, children who had perished under tragic circumstances long ago, haunted the graveyard. The spirits of these children were known for their playful and mischievous nature. They lured unsuspecting visitors deeper into the cemetery, where they would become hopelessly lost in the winding labyrinth of tombstones and fog. The spirits reveled in the fear they instilled, feeding off the terror of the living. The tragic tale of these lost souls began in the 19th century when they were orphaned and left to fend for themselves. Abandoned and desperate, they had perished in the harsh winter that followed, their bodies never properly laid to rest. Over the years, countless visitors had reported encounters with the ghostly children. Laughter that turned to wails, shadowy figures, 
and spectral hands reaching out were all part of the chilling repertoire of these restless spirits. And so, the cemetery had earned its sinister reputation, becoming a place where those who entered would find themselves ensnared by the malevolent spirits of the past. As the sun rose, its warm rays spilled over the moss-covered tombstones, banishing the last traces of the eerie mist. The spectral children, defeated by the arrival of daylight, reluctantly retreated into the shadows. Lauren, Michael, Emily, and Josh, battered and shaken but miraculously unharmed, emerged from the mausoleum, their faces pallid and their clothes disheveled. They stumbled out of the cemetery, vowing never to return to that accursed place. In the daylight, Ross Bay Cemetery appeared tranquil once more, as if the horrors of the previous night had been mere nightmares. The four friends knew, however, that the paranormal malevolence that dwelled within its depths was all too real. From that day forward, they carried with them the knowledge that some secrets were best left undisturbed, and some places were not meant for the living to tread. Their harrowing experience at Ross Bay Cemetery would forever haunt their nightmares, a chilling reminder of the darkness that could lurk just beyond the realm of the living. And so, the cemetery returned to its silent vigil, its spectral inhabitants biding their time until the next group of unwitting souls would venture into its embrace, forever adding to the haunted lore of Ross Bay Cemetery.